question right there. This is the Stiff Oddcast uh, episode four. Uh, let's go ahead and just say it's April Fool's it's Day, April 2014. Fool's Day. Hold on, hold on, hold on. April 1st. Okay. I'd like to welcome everyone, my the fine listeners. Uh, tonight we have uh, we have Paul Roberts and uh, Rob Davis is setting in. Just fucking bullshitting, shooting the shit, talking about random subjects. Uh, Paul, let's ask you one more time. How's work going? How's work? Work's going good. Weather's warming up. It's uh, it's good. Pope Chrysler Greenville, Kentucky. Paul Roberts. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah we're not, don't be ashamed to plug what you need to plug, man. It's it's going good, man. The um, I had a guy today that bought like a thirty-two thousand dollar vehicle, and just he traded his stuff in and just had to make eight more payments than he already owed. For, Paul, you for thirty-two thousand dollars worth of vehicle. You have to sell us some hey, Hot Wheels cars. cars. No, 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 sell me, sell me a Hot Wheels car right now. Right. It's always wanted to do this. I need a Hot Wheels car to sell you though. Well, just pretend this little shooter. This is a uh, yeah, but, ninety-seven cents Hot Wheels car. Sell it to I gotta, me. I gotta, I gotta be able to see it though. There it is. That's a fucking That's car. That's a bottle of whiskey. This is a nineteen ninety-eight <laughs> Camaro Hot Wheels car. Is it's what it cherry is. red with metallic uh, flake. It has chrome. It has some chrome wheels. It just got lowered for no reason at all. All right. Well, here's how I go into this. First of all, pussy magnet. <laughs> okay. That's all I'm gonna say. But I'm gay. That. I don't care about that. Dick magnet. Uh, I don't see that working. Most dudes, <laughs> most of my boyfriends or guys I hang out with have Priuses or Mazdas. <laughs> so. Mazdas. <laughs> there is not a dick on the planet that does not like. A Corvette. <laughs> it's a Camaro. See, you already Paul lost Roberts. me, man. You already lost me. It's because I'm looking at a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> I gotta have the product in front of me. I sell what I see. I don't see what I can sell. <laughs> you need to see Wolf of Wall Street, Paul. That's a legit. That's a legit comment. <laughs> so you gotta, you gotta, you, this smoke bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone. Paul's a ninja. Yeah. The, um, you have to see no to me, Rob's joke. to me I just think it might be visually better if you don't use I want to do that where it's just like a fucking used car commercial but only you're trying to you're like come on now Paul Roberts we're selling Hot Wheels cars my Matchbox and blah 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 <laughs> fucking <laughs> 97 cents not in my dealership <laughs> yeah, yeah Paul, 79 cents <laughs> Paul Horowitz that's outrageous <laughs> <laughs> you're damn right it's outrageous if you don't come down here and buy a car I'm a club baby seal death I stole that joke from somewhere I can't remember where what was that from? I don't know. It's in a movie. It's, it's like Alice it's a, Crazy Car. Oh, oh, show. it's in that. It's in UHF. And, and when and where Al turns what year did that come out of UHF? Was that eighty nine? Exactly right. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. right. If you buy this car, I'm gonna and it had a seal on yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's, it's all year. It's funny. It's one of those movies I always wanted to watch, but never got around to it. You never it's seen like, UHF? I've never seen UHF. I have it on DVD, which is really um, weird that that movie it. came out because Rob and I have been on a, a Weird Al kick. Yeah, here I love Weird Al. You need to see that fucking movie. I've never seen it. Can we all just bust into the chorus of that Star Wars song real quick? <laughs> my, 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 this Anakin guy. Maybe later, someday later, now he's just a small fry. He left, left his home and he kissed his mom and goodbye. Saying soon I'm gonna be a Jedi. Soon I'm gonna be a Jedi. Nerd status confirmed. That's damn right. That's a very popular song when episode one. All I'm saying yeah, is Palpatine. The movie. Yeah, yes. damn Stop right it was. On the piano in the background. I know. <laughs> That's what sells. I want to see the video so bad. I know I've seen it before, but I just can't remember it because I was titty, titty, titty tiny. Well, you got to remember that was 15 years ago, man. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That was, episode one is 15 years ago? Yeah. Oh, shit. That's 1999. Yeah. I remember yeah. that one. It's 2014. Whoa. Wow. It's been a long time. We bought that out running with scissors. When? Yes. 15 years ago, 1999. Oh, my God. That's 100% when the fucking... I don't know. A lot of people try to play off, play it off like that movie's awesome when it first came out. And it's like... Yeah, but a lot of people I, hung out with... I, I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be awesome, too. When I first saw it, I was no, like... There's like... No, any movie I, I pay money for, I want to be awesome. There's a yeah, total of like eight minutes of that movie that are good. Eight? Well, I mean, what, what parts? Describe like these the, parts. The it's battle very of briefly. I like the Battle of the Fates. I don't care. It had a good song. Duel of the Fates. Yeah, like the music made it seem like something awesome was going on. Well, also, there's... That's the, the first music movie in good. history. John Williams made the it. The first good. movie yeah. in history, mind you, ever to have music from start to finish. 
they're all the time. It was all musical it's, cues. Yeah, you're right. They're absolutely 110 percent of the time. There's music playing in that. Domino movie. says a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. There's no uh, that's that's at the very beginning. So yeah, yeah. It's a, during it really the, doesn't. Yeah. It's like <laughs> went during the bam bam bam. Yeah, that's the, first that's the intro. Yeah. That doesn't that's count as part of the that's movie. Part of the movie. I'm going to stab you to death. <laughs> is that nitpicking a little bit? Or is that just no, being, a, right, the that's being 100% true man? If it was a court of law, Rob would have won that part of no, the case. No, because, because that's that's the prelude. That's just like the, that's like saying that the front part of the book, that's like, I dedicate this book to whoever, that part that's of part of the book. That's bullshit. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> like, dedication. That's not part of the book. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. That's not part of the story. Well, you don't read the, the prelude in Art of War? You never read that? I, Did you read about the life and times of Sun Tzu? Did you enjoy it as part of your experience? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drink a beer and say I won. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that's the next best thing to being right. Man. That's right. <laughs> it might even be better. <laughs> Probably. That's right. Yeah, John Williams did kind of save that fucking movie, movie, basically. <laughs> because when well, I, I, like John Williams, like the di- all right, I can tell you what the difference is like between the original Star Wars movies and John Williams and okay. the new Star Wars movies and John Williams. This, like the whole style of Star Wars in the newer movies, they changed. But yeah, John, Wi- but John Williams, movies, John yeah. Williams didn't change. That's right. right. So it's, it's still consistent yeah. and good. But I, John Williams in a, is the best. In a way, I'll respect George Lucas for not giving us the same story with Anakin, the exact same stuff. You know what my favorite part of Star Wars is? Ray Park. Ray Park, real? Yeah. You're talking about his... Uh, that guy's legit. That guy's, nope. an action, that guy's an action figure, man. That guy is legitimately badass. He also plays Snake Eyes, right? In the G.I. Joe films? Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. 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 It's only him. I did not know that. 100% him. All right. Just went down two points on the cool music. Actually, oh, wow. come on, <laughs> man. Hey, actually, <laughs> once you think about it, out of all the debut that guy uh, is a fucking action stars figure. in that movie... <laughs> Jake Lloyd went nowhere. He quit. He hates Star Wars. I don't blame him. It didn't launch anyone else's career, but it actually did launch Ray Park's career. I would say it because they're like, oh yeah, because he's a he's a stuntman, martial artist, yeah. choreograph guy. Yeah, and he yeah. really made it. He's the only guy to actually he could. So say who else this. is he gonna play? He's played Darth Maul, Snake Eyes. Who uh, else is he gonna Toad play? Toad from X Men. He oh. played Toad in X Men. Oh, that's totally that one. him. The uh, what, all right, what, I don't know anything else. The what Brian Singer know? version of who? Yeah. Who? No, who else could he play? Is what I'm asking. Like, what's another just martial arty? He has to wear a mask or something. It would be cool yeah. if if they decided to, you know, Deadpool. If they if they ever made a, say, yeah, if they ever made a Metal Gear Solid movie, he could be Cyber Snake. Ninja. Yeah. Oh boy, shit. Yeah, Great Fox. Shit. Yeah. The, uh, totally that's that. maybe he'd be that. <laughs> and and he could totally play. He would have been a way better Deadpool. Like way better. Oh, Ryan Reynolds. See, I, I, I would try to. I, see, I would argue that point because Ray Park, he he can't talk. He doesn't have the the charisma. Right. <laughs> That's uh, true. That's true. You know, I got that from it. <laughs> I got that, that was a slanting look. I just shot Rob. This, for just because Deadpool. Up Deadpool is just <laughs> as no, uh, charismatic right. as Spider Man. You ever watch like uh, the old David Lee Roth video? No. For Justin, they say charisma. I thought it was funny. I'm. I'm. This. This is an inch away from downloading some Van Halen, dude. I start because I I picked up my guitar and I started no, playing. Diamond it. Dave is good. You I know. Just, you just want to avoid Sammy Hagar. I know Van Hagar can suck a dick, man. No, and even all right, legitimately, like, a bag of say, like yeah. yes, Sammy Hagar a bag is a better vocalist. Queen. Yeah, he was but talented. Yeah. Van Halen doesn't need a good vocalist. He needs somebody to, to carry the the, the music. party clown. Right? Yeah, he's the party yeah, clown. Yeah, from Metalocalypse. Sure. <laughs> I'm a party. Cocaine. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Van Halen. I, I, I was like, man, that's a good riff, and it's like I can crank that up when I'm drunk, and I, I'm liking sure. that. You know, I'm liking like, Panama. Ha, Panama. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah. you know? I don't know. Carey See, did. that song got burned out oh, for yeah. me because of fucking radio. Drew Carey up episode where uh, fucking Mimi was trying to flush Drew Carey out of his house, and they just kept looping Panama. Yeah, she'll come in as a radio DJ, and she'd be like, coming up next, it's Panama by Van Halen. That we'll happened nine times in an episode. Times so. episode. We have a list here. Oh, yeah, I mean, stuff going on. Are you to Santa now? I like lists, though. I like oh, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. talk about your list, Santa. It's not no, no, this is mine. We'll dictate this. We're kind of just lying, you know, kind of going into it. You know what I like the most about lists? Starting in the middle. All right. Let's uh, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll start in the middle. Oh, uh, uh, let's see. We go with the April fourth dates. It's, it's what you that probably might be the, the no. The, I was going on April third dates. Oh, that's just a lot of Wii U virtual console releases. Wii so U. Uh, that's, that's reverse compatible of two thousand four. 
Oh, yeah. oh it's two. But no, but that, that old chamber is into WrestleMania, which is also reverse compatible of two thousand four. <laughs> right. And, Advanced Wars? Yes, that's an RTS game. It's that, a real-time strategy game, and okay. it's, it's very fun to play with two people. Um, the only difference As between... As most RTS games are? Yeah. I mean, what's right. what makes this game really good is the fact how, how it's accessible at the beginning of the game, but once you get advanced, it's really fun. But it's, we, it's better to play two players, not alone, because the AI can figure it out. Oh, it's like, like Resident Evil 5. Right. Can you play like two players like on a team? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So two I'll on two like teams. I, I'm a fan I'll, I'll of co-op. Co-op. Yeah. yeah. I'm a co-op. I love co-op. co-op. Couch co-op is dead, and that's bullshit. Yeah, yeah I noticed that. Yeah, if anything, I'll give Nintendo respect for actually trying to be a gaming company. Yeah. As yeah. opposed they're to the just trying to be some, console on the market. Be some like YouTube. They're, mass they're not. Media no, machine. Microsoft and right. Sony are are home PCs that you control with a controller. That are low, lower quality than a PC you could get for exactly. the equivalent exactly price. Exactly right. I, that's, like I know. <laughs> they're significantly lower quality than you could buy for the same price. Do you yes. think in some point, because you know Brandon Jenkins, uh, which we got to get him fucking on. Oh, but do you know, you know he's a, you know he's a pretty diehard Microsoft guy. Could you ever talk him into buying a badass gaming machine? Well, like a badass PC machine is what you're saying. Yeah. Actually, we just re- when I went and got my dog last Sunday, um, and he went to bowling room with me, and we bought him a gaming laptop. Oh shit! Yeah, T- uh, twelve gig RAM. Uh, Core i5, 4200 series, okay. um, a terabyte hard drive, and a 2 gig dedicated internal Ooh, yes, yes, so I see. I it's see, I it's, see, it's legit enough, you know, to run. Because every, every PC gamer I ever spoke to, they always just kind of like have a snide look about like, oh, yeah. But they were right. PC they is they so were, infinitely better than console. Yeah, they were right the entire time. Who the fuck can uh, yeah, initially think, afford that? I think the graphics though, would be bucks, better dude. on on the PC, <laughs> right, but look at it this way. the games. Here's, it's like here's how you got to look at it. Here's how you got to look at it. It's not. I don't for, think the games are there. It's, for eight hundred. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. For eight hundred. No, yeah, I can get any, I can get any game on PC. You can get on console. I challenge that to okay. any person. Uh, in the I mean, well, yeah. But here's the thing. For eight hundred bucks, you can buy a nice gaming, like a nice gaming PC, or or you can build one. All right, now you're not gonna have to buy another one. For like the next five years. Okay. All right. So you spend three ninety nine on a gaming console every two years. Sure. Right. All right. right so right. on average, you're going to spend seven to eight hundred dollars every five to six years. Well, not with the Nintendo console. It will last until it. Yeah. Until you well, get no, tired no, no, of no. It. I'm talking about if you're buying current gen stations, like when they right, come out, you buy. Right. 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 Yeah. The um, that way you can keep up. And your bundles on all the too. It costs. Uh, like for example, Destiny is coming out on Xbox One, but not on 360. So you're going to have to buy an Xbox One if you want to play current gen stuff. Right. But. If you have a PC that you bought three years ago for eight hundred dollars, you can still rock Destiny in higher graphics and higher frame rate than any console will push. Why? Because PCs are miles ahead of where console gaming is. Right. It's, it's just it's not, the initial startup of, of buying that, though. We have to drop serious cash at the beginning. Go to Best Buy. Eighteen months, no interest. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't know. You, say, work, you work for them too, man. <laughs> yeah, because they're awesome. <laughs> Product placement: Best Buy, that's Probes, right. Bud Light, and Hot Wheels. And Hot Wheels. And Hot Wheels. By God. All well, right. here's the logic Buy for Zeus. me. If I was going to throw down, like, you know, I would like to go a new egg and pick my parts out. You know, like to, to well, build that, one. Yeah, that's yeah, that's legit. <laughs> Lady parts. It's, it's, it's almost it's <laughs> almost getting now though. I, I actually recently built a gaming console on new egg. Right. For one of the people that works at my dealership, buying it for their son, and. I actually found out at I could buy the a better system pre built from <laughs> product placement. The um, I can buy a better system pre built from Best Buy for about a hundred and hundred and fifty dollars less. And it's a better system. Well if I and, was and this isn't my first rodeo, I built, right, I yeah. built a, a bunch of them. Oh yeah. We and talk significantly. I wish. Well, I'm going to upload one of the tech older, talks we did. Older, older, older. Yeah, but it's not yeah. that outdated though at all. I mean, it, we was talking about some pretty. It's a little bit about a year. It, we were talking about some year serious outdated, shit, which in the world of technology is like a thousand years. But, but we were but, talking about shit that was pretty universal. Yeah, I was getting ready. Yeah. To I'm ready for World of Glass, though. That's probably ten years down the road. Yeah. Um, Switching gears to, uh, I guess, modern releases of the day. Um, today, Anchorman 2 was released on DVD. I saw it in theaters. Pretty good. You can obviously tell where they edited to uh, kind of avoid a lot.
lot of. I don't know. It's, it's kind of like Dominic avoided Cooper. a whole lot of good jokes. Dominic, Four, yeah. you can tell. Where, Probably. Uh, John McClane's going to cuss, and they immediately go up to the scene. Jump cut. Which means yeah. the movie was n- not edited well, which, if you can tell. Yeah. Right. Um, I haven't heard anyone say that the fourth Die Hard movie was good. Oh, dude, Die Hard 4 is pretty good, dude. The unrated version's awesome. That's why I'm saying Anchorman 2, uh, The Legend Continues, would be really, really badass. It's because it's a completely different movie when it's uncensored. Right. <laughs> what? It was PG-13. I'm talking about theaters. They see oh, it theaters. Yeah, in theaters. Yeah, the theatrical cut's terrible. Because yeah, the, the whole point of John McClane's character of Die Hard is he has he's attitude. Like yeah, he's fucking yeah. saying, dropping f bombs all over the place. He's a hard ass. It's yeah, like I an mean, Anchorman too. I mean, you you expect some some serious, you know, dirty jokes. They don't yeah, go they there because I know they're just trying to sell the DVD and like it. You know, yeah, that's, that's how you what it all boils down to. Product uh, placement. He's also, doing D- uh, Durango commercials. <laughs> yeah, the the glove box, the whole glove box Dude. business. His bit about the fucking glove box holding packs of gum for days, that's funny. He's a funny dude. He I, is a funny well, guy. Well, he's a funny guy, but I'm going to go ahead and say I'm not a huge fan. And here's why. He's funny. Rob's dropping the world. Well, hopefully your but, phone didn't destroy it. He died. Here's the thing. Here's dead. the thing about it. He plays the exact same character in every single movie Ever. Right, I think that's the he has same style of comedy. Like, he has the exact same jokes, like they're just uh, different words, but the same thing. It's like, oh, you want to do this? Well, I'm just gonna get loud. Well, see, I and, like it. It's like, and that's why I don't. I like him, but he's, he's like thin Chris Farley. He is not right. in my top ten. Jack Black is also in the same in a similar boat, though, in a way. He is. He is. But what keeps him alive is the deep. Well, yeah. Well, he's a very talented guy. Absolutely. I, well, Will Ferrell, of course, doing the SNL shit. But if, I think that's probably his best work, really, is when he was on SNL. He's on SNL. I've got something that's it's a full fit. But, yeah, uh, Will Ferrell on SNL was, I think that's his best work. His Jeopardy stuff is really funny. Jeopardy was really funny. Because he had to play against all these very, at, at that cast was, well, you had uh, Anna well, Gaston. Well, let's just discuss the cast of Anchorman 2. you got Steve Carell, yeah. Paul Rudd, which I generally like. I love Paul Rudd. He's, uh, I, 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 he's very Who's the whammy guy? Who's champ or uh, whatever? David, uh... Case or for the case. We need a human IMDb machine. Uh, I want to say David Keshner or Koshner. It's it's something DK <laughs> Donkey Kong. Yeah, he's Don- Donkey Kong. Champ Kong is the character though. Uh, I think it's David Keshner. That's I think it's it's spelled K O E C H E N A R some shit. So Rob, have oh, you fir- have you seen the first Anchorman? Yes, but what, it's been about eight years. What did you think of it initially? Uh, it's pretty fine. Sex Panther, that was good. I don't remember a lot of it. Like, I, don't, I don't consider it memorable. It was funny, but not memorable. What was the last memorable movie you've seen? I know that sounds really good or stupid. bad. Good or bad. Uh, uh, well, something that that still is like, man. I want to talk about good. It Let's lingered. Good. It lingered. Like you're still thinking about a scene or a character. It's like, oh fuck. Uh, there will be blood. That's, that's you know, just that as that sounds. Really good. Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah. Okay. The yeah, Hob- well, we went and saw The Hobbit though, and that movie's good. It's not great. But it's good though. I mean, it's a fun. It, it was fun. The first yeah. It was Hobbit fun. Movies. It was way better than the first one. Yes. I like the first one. I like but the Desolation of Smaug. The second one made good. me want to watch the third one. Yes. The first one did not make me want to watch the second one. It's like I can watch it. Because you didn't watch the first one. Yeah, dude. You fell asleep. Oh. Huh. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. You can't. Yeah, you can't fault sense. anyone for that though. That no, you can't. No. A lot of walking. That movie. Is is those are those are books meant to contain a language some dude made up, which yeah. is just French backwards. It's yes, like, that's I, exactly what it is. Yeah, Tolkien's. And, and I have no problem. Was with a, it. a linguist though. Yeah, he was. Right. And Tolkien was was a smart dude. Uh, he, I think there's an interesting story in there, but it gets covered up okay, with walking montages. Hold on one second, though. You try to get a twist, twist. You know, actually, the first hold on, Hobbit. Hold on. Say, hold on. The original I'm Lord of the Rings right was now. a whole lot of story wrapped. We're gonna delay this montage. Yeah, montage. Oh, you're just gonna break it like but, that. Uh, what I noticed I wanted that, sound that was drastically different in the the first Hobbit film was the pacing did. And the, and yeah. the total lack of women. Yes. Fuck yes. Well, yeah. 
bunch of dwarves. Yeah, he had a bunch of dwarves. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, explain this. What do we mean, lack of women? I've never read a Tolkien novel besides right, past okay. twenty Tolkien. pages. Tolkien, like, whatever. All right, like, come <laughs> on now. All right, in, in the Hobbit trilogy, like they they he totally inspired made, me to write. They totally He's made in. they totally made He's that elf writer. chick up. She wasn't totally. in the books just because if not, it would just be a bunch of bearded dudes like in walking montages. Oh okay. yeah, so you're talking about Orlando Bloom's love interest, right? Yeah. Okay, I they never dot his eyebrows. Hmm. Really. They never doubt any of their eyebrows. I know, that, that takes me out of it. That would, me too, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, you can't unsee it now. God dang it, dude, that's like... I know. No, I see, uh, yeah. I know, right. you can't unsee it now. Fuck. I know. Maybe that's just the way that they are. No. You can't... I know that. Gladrio. Uh, uh, I they, know they, that. They, they can make uh, that guy from North look like a midget, but it's like they can't dot Orlando Bloom's eyebrows. Hmm. That's terrible. Yeah, I know. I know. Right? Which makes you think, how could... Uh, hey, you could, like, all it takes is one crack in, like, the glass. So, Rob, man... You should probably do five, we, too, because that's my mic. We've, uh... We've been doing this music yeah, thing for a long time, and... Right. You know a lot of musicians, too. And the ultimate goal seems to, A, have make music that people like, and yeah. to get signed to a label. Right. Can you explain... Uh, you, the artist... <laughs> you... Art major. You, yeah, yes, art major too. Sure. You were signed a to a label. How in the yeah. fuck does that happen? Um, to be honest, the person I collaborated with, um, he was all about getting signed. Uh, he had a, he had really deep internet connections, um, and we just we just found a niche. Uh, um, like a lot, like we were doing something other people like weren't really doing in the area, which which is what'll get you signed. But also, but. We alienated never made any people. profit from it at all. It alienated people, and also the record company went under in less than two months after we I got have, signed. I have, Dude, I have a question about that, though. Yeah. What was the song that that they listened to that they were like, that's it? Fuckatron. Fuckatron. Yes. From Project Thank Telomere. Yes. It was that. Fuckatron! Also, I, Fuckatron! Yeah. I love that song. Also, seemed, What the Ladies Want was also a contender. That that, that's that my Bill personal Cosby favorite. sample in it, right? Or what was that PCP? No, that was PCP. It, it, or is that what ladies want? Is PCP? I'm confused. No, it's been a while. Yeah, what ladies want is is about PCP. PCP. And yeah. but I knew that Br uh, Brad. Brad. Had say done, his name. Uh, that's all right. Well, he did one with uh, uh, there was a, a piano sample, and then a drum. Yeah, it was like a Ray that. Charles piano sample. Oh, okay, that's yeah. what that was. Yeah, okay. it was. Uh, it was well, what ladies want. Sample piano. Oh, why not Ray yeah, Charles? Why, why Charles? not Ray Charles? Yeah. yeah. Just make sure he's got the mic turned the right way. But the reason why this right. is shocking... <laughs> okay. okay. The reason, hey. the irony in this, uh, you know, if you know Rob, and you're not, you're not going to hardly catch him humming a tune unless it's like something, you know... Oh, come on, you're saying, you're acting like Rob doesn't enjoy music and... Oh, no, 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 but he, he doesn't, it. I know, but you know, generally... Rob doesn't walk around singing, I'm going to say that. Right. Right. Saying, it's like, <laughs> you know, with being embedded with all of these dudes that that's all we ever do music. is... <laughs> I'm not either, Shredder. There's either a dude with a guitar strapped on or with an acoustic that, guitar strumming I understand away. that hate. I think Rob and I have had that come, you, come yeah, up. Yeah, we, like, I totally understand. Like, I'm, I'm totally down with, with, with your band, man. Just yeah. don't don't play it while I'm trying to watch something, while mm -hmm. I'm trying to watch a movie or play right, something. Kinda, yeah, don't bring or, me with while, your shit. Or while I'm trying to talk to somebody like two feet away from me right, and I can't right, hear. Right, right. But it just didn't, it just seemed... i start purposely trying to bother you. Oh man, don't do it, man! I've seen him troll I'll, a couple people, and we'll. Mm. I'll, I'll quit hanging out. He won't come I back. No, and not bother you like while you're trying to have like I'm gonna do it like at like four o'clock in the morning when you're asleep. I quit hanging out. I'm gonna come over and I'm just gonna. But I'm gonna play shit that you enjoy. Ooh. I'm do you know over. what I enjoy? <laughs> A long, long time yeah, I, I, ago. You, you, we gonna learn a Paul Simon song. Paul yeah, Simon's good. Dude. But <laughs> I, I, I've had the privilege though, because at the time, you know, Rob <laughs> seemed to be anti anti music <laughs> I'm sure. in, I'm, in I'm, comparison. I'm really not, though. I know that I realized that when I first started hanging out with you, and I, I saw your CD collection. I was like, I'm you like this. music, you I, motherfucker. I, I do. I, I like a lot. It's of like music. you got all kinds of interesting shit in here, especially Beck. You was rocking yeah. some Beck out. Yeah, but it's like I like music, but I don't like being hit over the head with it. I think. Oh yeah. I think music. That's a, I don't think I've heard that. I don't think I've heard that. Put. I had to pick the microphone up because I was talking away from. It. 
I don't think I've heard that ever put better. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. I like yeah. music, but I don't like leaning beat over the head. With well, like a lot of people, they'll focus, they'll say music is my life or reading yeah, is my life. And I think if just one aspect is your life, you're, you're wasting it. You should enjoy all your senses. Well, I can give you proof you know? as to why, in my case, it's defined my social life. Totally. Sure. It's not my life, my life. Otherwise, well, you know. Well, people, I don't mean... Go ahead. Go ahead, man. In. Get in But there. you said you should enjoy all your senses. Yes. When I play music, I do enjoy all my senses. Okay, because you get to, to feel the instrument you're playing. You get to hear, hear it. it. You right. get to see what you're doing. And I love the smell of bars. <laughs> 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 that was what that whole thing was like. Dude. Well, you could have said good, something though. like vagina or something, you know. That, yeah, well, yeah. That would no, be the rock star thing I also thing enjoy to say. the taste and the smell of vagina. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Which is yeah. what you get. Paul Roberts is straight no, I, in I, the I agree That's the only that. goddamn reason I learned yeah. to play it. <laughs> That's a good reason. I've heard way worse. I'm not musically inclined at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, I'll tell you what it was for me, is being a kid. He wanted to hang out with me. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Now he's like that. eight Some years older shit. than I am. It's not <laughs> no, but, you know, as a kid, you know, I saw uh, someone play, it was Eric Clapton. I remember it was a Disney Channel concert. And I just saw him playing the guitar. It's like, what the fuck is that thing? I really... I was like... And then, you know, my, on my dad's side of the family, they're all a bunch father, of, you know, <laughs> musicians. That's all they did. They had a case of beer. And a, yeah, they're always guitar. like, make it, make that guitar talk, boy. But, yeah, talk. I mean, that was always around. So, And then mom had a few people on her side of the family play guitar, too. So there was one, and I had to have it. And... Uh, so you can say like in your family, there's always kind of an inclination to be a musician. Yeah, and that's how we got over here. Apparently, when I was doing some research, that the Irish side, uh, the Oranges, uh, were troubadours, and they just came here and banged bitches and you know, I mean, procreated. You know what's really strange about my family? <laughs> my dad's a cannibal. No, <laughs> no that, that would have completely sold it for me, man. Yeah, oh, like you switched crazy. gears on me. Man. Yeah. I just pictured no. Sandy eating a person, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> He doesn't have a stomach, which makes it more fun. Yeah, fuck that. Uh, He's a fucking survivor, though. Yeah, he just likes, he just likes right. the taste, you know? Yeah. I don't like... Oh, yeah. I don't, okay. I don't like cocaine. I just like the smell. Yeah. Um, sure. But, he, no, here's the funny thing about my family is that none of them are musicians. None of them. Okay. Sandy is. Until Dad. Oh, okay. And that's that's the story. No, my bad. Is, I'm just fucking with that. I'm fucking awesome. with that. Awesome. Like, he, of course, he's been playing for 50 years. Yeah. But, holy shit, he's good. And then, so I thought, like, dude, I'll pick it up, I'll be a natural, you know? Yeah, not happening. It's like, I'm the most musically inclined of all my brothers, or my sister, uh -huh. but I have work my ass off for all that shit. Hmm. And it's like, then I look at Dad, and he's just like, oh yeah, this thing's just like, yeah. it's just this weird fucking progression no one's ever heard of. And I think like, musicians oh, go yeah, okay, it. Pops, it's hmm. like, that works. It's fine. Like, also, you play rhythm and lead and ghost notes, like... Mm -hmm. Ghost Notes, first time I ever heard of those is slap popping in bass. Nathan Stovall. It's, uh, well, he's not the he, first person ever. But heard. for but me, it was. But he's a really good bass player. Well, yeah, yeah, Ghost Notes the thing about that player. is he plays rhythm, lead, his, like, his ghosts, everything. Right. He's a whole band on a guitar. The only thing he can't do is make the guitar sound like a snare drum. He tried that for like a week. <laughs> but I've seen people. Well, do yeah, that. get you a banjo, put some guitar strings on. It's like, welcome, welcome everyone to the. March, actually, hold on, I fucked that up. April 1st. Fool's Day. April, Fool's Day, April. 2014. <laughs> Stiff Oddcast. We're here with Rob Davis, Paul Roberts, just chatting it up, talking about random bullshit. Yeah, I got top billing. <laughs> Hell yeah, I got top billing. I mean, Paul, Paul deserves it. Well, anyway, what I was going to say about being a musician and the reason why I, I understand where Rob's coming from with getting beat over the head with it. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, the thing is, it's just like um, being enthusiastic about anything and, and you're at a point in your life where you're just like, this is one thing I figured out and I'm comfortable with and it makes me feel good. It's sure. like, and then I understand that though because when I discovered the internet and all this other things with music, like, holy shit, check this stuff out. I was beating people over the head with stuff like, why, you should listen to this. And I've done it too. You know? Yeah. Like, we, we, we all really we, get into things things we like, like yeah and we want other people to experience it with us just cuz you know as humans we're social beings you know? right and it puts you in selfish. a good place and you want everyone we are else selfish. in a good place yeah I mean, I'm just going to say, Rob, just one song in particular, if you ever play again for me, I would just leave and, <laughs> okay. and, and end our friendship for a good six months. If you play Bad Romance, <laughs> you uh, motherfucker, I, I would, six months, no, no talking, no talking uh, it's, at all. It's cool, and like, 
I, I will never play Bad Romance around you guys again <laughs> on, on the condition you never play Michael Jackson around me again. Okay. No I, will, I, will, I will make no I will 100%. Make you know what? Let's get a, let's get a handshake yeah, over well, the mic. handshake right Actually, now. high five it so we can be audible. Right. Okay, there it is. All right. That's fair. I have a question. Okay. What if it's Michael Jackson covering Bad Romance? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Really? Does that, does that exist? No. But no. They're better. <laughs> what? I can see, like, it, it's just like a betrayal on both our parts. Yeah, yeah. it just what? doesn't no, We work. love pop music. Jackson Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, we do. That's not an original Michael Jackson song. No. I, no, or or like, a mashup. I, you, you, what if it's a mashup? Hey, we're you, both you, saying mis- you misunderstand me. I like Michael Jackson, but, like, the day he died, radio was unlistenable for, like, a year. A week. They were probably like, playing the like, same two the same songs, too. That's why I hate Kentucky basketball. If you're a UK uh, fan and you're not yeah, Brandon gotcha. Jenkins, then fuck you. Right. Well, it's, it's going to get, let's get, go ahead and get this clear the air here. It's, it's, not, it's not like we're both hating on both artists. No. I love Is this a fact guys. and that, that, that we, we really put each other through the ringer with yeah, both yeah, of them? Yeah, yeah, we shouldn't do that again ever. So no. basically the point no, is, is I'm cool <laughs> everyone is guilty of beating someone over the head with some shit. You know? Yeah, that's I like, beat everyone I'm, I'm guilty that I of beat it. Yeah. over the head. We're all, we fighters. all are. Yeah, though. yeah. yeah. That's but some people never get that point to stop, though. Yeah, there's some people that never knew they did. You know? <laughs> and that's way funnier. It is funny, but it's also uh, debilitating to the mind. Well, well, I, I makes beat it so mad. The head with the Foo Fighters because I think there's at least a dozen songs that anyone could like. They, they are a okay. good band. They are I, I think they're they're good. Good. It's all if subjective. If you you just gotta listen long enough to find. And I guess I can see why your taste for art too, Rob, is 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 substantiated because you're dealing with it like music, something that's so subjective and so yeah that in some cases some people can be like, well, you can look at an abstract, whatever the fuck. Some people think it's beautiful, other people just see a bunch of squiggle marks. Right. Like Andy Warhol paints paints a, a soup. I see. Hands, like you know? to that point. Yeah. When I look at ab- abstract art. Let me tell you what I see. <laughs> I see a whole bunch of artists, Angry. quote unquote artists, that hey, very loosely, are, very loosely mm-hmm. used here. Yeah, that that are really think that they're artsy and feel like they're artsy, but they're not. But confuse art with bullshit. Right. Well, the bullshit comes in the money. Not necessarily bullshit. It's like they might have a problem expressing themselves artistic or. or even, like like they're might, bad artists. Yeah, it might be. It might mean they're something. An artist that sucks at it. It might mean something to them. All right. To, all right. To be honest, it's like I've, I've always wanted to draw, but Me I was I, but I was never good at it. Me but either. but you can make abstract art. But like, abstract art, I guess, is, would be abstract art. Abstract art's like uh, me dumping my garbage bag out in the fucking floor and pouring glue it, all over it. But is it wrong if that's the only thing you can do artistically? <laughs> yes. It, Find it, something else. It's basically, basically, <laughs> basically, it's like punk rock music. It's yeah, music, it's, say, it's music yeah. for people that It was all le- like Here's another. There you go. Yeah. There you go. I'm getting down on that, dude. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'll get down on it. Oh, that's yeah. shitty, though. But yeah, um, that's totally okay. right. I told you don't believe. Let's, let's, I'm just gonna put the cigarette all right, down. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. There's that a, was a right, fucking right, epic that's high podcast high five. It feels so there, good. There can there can be some feelings with abstract art, but it's like the, the it's not quite there talent wise. But they still try. Well, here's, the, here's the thing. You know? I suck at drawing, so I got good at computer programming because I can <laughs> okay. express myself. Okay, all right. all right. Okay. So if you're shitty at art. Pick up something else. Well, here's the Do thing. Do something else to But what, what if you can make a living making abstract art and just fooling That's other people? That's what I was people? about to say. It's like it's the art of the sale, that. Paul. You should respect that. No. Con- the, no. The, the consumer aspect of it. No. I don't. All right. It's all about making here's someone why. believe that your all shit right. is awesome. Here's no matter yeah. how here's shitty right. it is. Here's why, here's why oh, I don't listening. respect that. I sell things, <laughs> and, when, and when I sell them, I truly believe in them. I'm not going to sell something I don't believe in. The uh, and, and, and then you put that on the internet. <laughs> That's what to say. Okay, the, okay, one hundred percent. I'm behind I'm, this. I will not sell something I don't believe in. Oh, okay. And can you see? <laughs> yeah. Paul Roberts is running against this guy. I'm running yeah. against George Bush. <laughs> Jeb Bush is the one that's gonna be running. You're probably. a little late to the party, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm gonna win. <laughs> hey, he's disqualified immediately. Just the, uh, the, fa- the phrase, late to the party, but I'm still going to win. He can like still be put, he still be put on as vice president. <laughs> I would take him as my vice president for comic relief. Yeah, he's fucking That's hilarious. Oh, come on, man. Uh, I don't, 
Okay. I mean, Casey, I truly believe. I'm not saying, I'm not defending George Bush at all. I'm trying to do a George Bush impression. The only thing I'm saying is. He couldn't talk. At least, yeah. <laughs> he was, he's. He's a, he's a college graduate. He's he's a smart dude. I'm he fairly just, he just didn't have a good public well, presence. If my right. daddy was George H.W. Uh, well, Bush, writes a check, hell yeah. You're no, this, hear me out, guys. Hear me out. George Bush. Right. Everyone can tote him as being one of the worst presidents, whatever, in history. <laughs> and, I, and I will, but he, I would never say he's an idiot, ever. That's true. I would never say that either. <laughs> Strategery. And then you have Barack Obama. I'm not all about president bashing, but dude, at least George as Bush someone was... someone that served under him as commander-in-chief, <laughs> I'm just I saying. will go ahead and say that if I hand you a five-gallon bucket of shit... You're not going to make it a whole lot prettier in eight years. I know. I mean, what That's I was getting true. at yeah, is at least George Bush was openly kind of full of shit. Barack Obama's trying to talk over your head and trying to like, hey, America, um, I'm a very I'm, slick talker. I'm going to sell you hope. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you're talking about every lawyer. president ever. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I am. Yes. Bullshit I'm just saying, but I'm saying, if you're gonna if you're gonna hate on George Bush so you much, hate on president every president to ever live. Let me live. tell you who the the. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna name off the top five greatest presidents of all time. Goldberg, DDP, <laughs> no, Sting. No, no. <laughs> That's all those no, ones. That's WCW, man. Oh, oh sorry, These sorry. Be, the on. nation would be absolutely united. Mm -hmm. It would have no problem. Number one on the list, period, is Morgan Freeman. What? Morgan in Freeman, movies, Morgan in films, in films. That's what you're talking about. No, I'm talking about real life president. Tom Morgan Hanks Freeman would, would be a fucking fantastic. He's, he's Tom a smart Hanks dude. Was the next, yeah. per, next person on the list was Tom Hanks. Okay. After that, we're gonna go down to um, fucking. Uh, you can't handle the truth. Jack, Jack Nicholson? Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. Oh hell yeah. Uh, then we're gonna go Bruce. He's Willis too old, man. He's after too old. that, and uh, you know what all these people are? They're fucking fantastic actors. actors. Yeah, and that's yeah. What because need. that's what the hey, goddamn why, president. Why yeah. in the fuck was Barack Obama on Between Two Ferns with Zach Galifianakis? Not, not only to plug healthcare.gov, <laughs> but he's a fucking actor, he's too. He's an actor, too. You so it wasn't that far-fetched for <laughs> two of them to be up not, on the same I fucking know. set. Why not put the best people in the world out there? I know, right? Anthony Hopkins. Holy fuck. That's like... When he's I awake, he's awesome. I would love to awesome. watch a debate between Morgan Freeman and Anthony Hopkins. John Wayne should have ran for president. I wouldn't uh, vote for him, man. I know. I'm talking about like when. Him. Oh, during his heyday? Yeah, when he was alive, he should have ran. If Ronald Reagan's a dumbass could run for president, I mean, no, Reagan, he's not dumb, man. No, he was a good president. I, I know. Ronald Reagan, the, the actor. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, at the Back time, the at the time, he was hated. But as history looks back on him, you could like you can just see from his policies what how it helped us through the night. He was a genius. Reaganomics, though, yes. I mean, the only thing it brought us was more cocaine from the Columbia. Like, well, hey, uh, <laughs> you know, it depends if you I, roll hey, that man. way. You know. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, right. Yeah. Here's the reality. He who fights that, monsters. Man. Here's here's the reality. Of what of where this is going? There's right. two there's two subjects you cannot win on. Okay. Politics and religion. Yeah, yeah so, I, I, agree. Yeah. I agree. I opt out of all of them. Myself. So how about the Elder Scrolls? Though that's coming out. Oh, that that is coming out this Friday. Change the subject on April. Coming out this Friday. April fourth. That I, I know it's gonna be a hot topic amongst amongst the PC and Mac gamers because it's a dual release. You don't have to if it you're a Mac user. PC, I mean, I'm just saying if you're a Mac user. At, before you had to wait, but it's <laughs> a dual off, release. Users, I'm just saying, how this, user, fuck off. how's this going to tap into oh, the Diablo, Diablo 3 market? Because that's a heavy market, yeah, man. Yeah, it's a heavy market. All right, here's, here's the thing about Diablo 3. The console version is way better. Oh, now, recently, ah, ooh, It has couch. Hey, uh, motherfucker, I played them both. Okay, and I'm a PC okay. gamer. And I'm okay, going to go ahead okay. and say the console version is better. Now, ah. the latest update... Oh. Latest update, apparently that I, that I, that I I have not Reaper Reaper of Souls is that the name of the expansion pack that came out? The, right? But here's it... here's the thing about the latest update that came out. Apparently, it made the console version more controllable, which was the beef with it the whole time. So apparently, now the PC version is taken. But at the time that I played it at release, I would have bought it like when the Xbox version re released. You had so much more control over your character, and that's what made it awesome. But at the same time, apparently, apparently, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not a Diablo three. I, I mean, I fucking. I'm own. not a nut for it. I play Diablo I two, it, man. I'm not gonna lie. It. But see, what I love so much about Diablo two is the fact you can play it offline. You know, you just fucking you can I grind. I really like Diablo one. I love that game. It's not as good as two. I. That's being a douchebag. I mean, it's snooty douchebag. It's not as good as two, man. 
well, the thing about the the reason I hate it too is because I played on Windows Seven, and its forward compatibility was fucking terrible, which is a fault of Windows Seven, not Diablo. But Diablo One's great though. That game's great. It's like it's really good. I remember when Diablo Two came out. That was a big deal, dude. Yeah, at the yeah, time, huge. it was. It's I remember Battle, that's that's also when Battle dot net launched. And so that it's like that's you know that's like that was a big deal. I think I, when Diablo two came out, I was in how old was I? I but was like an infant. I, I remember going to someone's house and I'm like, so he's like, yeah, dude, but, but here's the die. thing on the on the Elder Scrolls. Here's here's what. Yeah, let's talk about because I know the the open demo has been out for months. Oh, yeah, the beta's been out for a long time. The uh, but here's here's the bit about Elder Scrolls. It's been a the single most popular RPG on console probably of all time. Uh, it's probably sold the well, most copies. He, he Skyrim, really... sold the, Skyrim sold the most copies of any console RPG ever. But Paul, you got to think about it, man. Like, what is? It doesn't take much for an RPG of that caliber to dominate. It's because there's no, no because RPGs they're, they're, yeah, no, really. Yeah, they're, they're not right. Out there. Right. Um, now here's where it's going to come in. Here's where. Fans of the Elder Scrolls series, like unlike Rob Davis, unlike Rob Davis, I never liked Elder Scrolls. The uh, and here's where it's going to come into play for for people that were fans and people that would have been on board had it been tweaked a little. That's what the Elder Scrolls Online is. It's going to bring those two people together. If you play pen and paper D and D and you don't like the Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, oh! This is a big yeah, claim. Gonna, you're yeah, you're going I'm big or going record. home? Right? Now I'm going to go on record before I say this as pen and paper. This personal preference, but three zero and three five are interchangeably my second favorite. Pathfinder is the best. Oh yeah, I'm a big fan of Pathfinder. And Pathfinder is the best, and I've been playing for a while. Is it Rob's similar to the me, Dungeons and Dragons system? Pathfinder is the best. Path, well, Pathfinder, Pathfinder is Dungeons, Dungeons, and Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons, Dragons without the bullshit. Seven point or three point seven. So you what, what year that come out? Character class. Pathfinder you still yeah. have your. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's three point. It rocks in this three point seven. Okay, okay. It's but three point zero and three point. Uh, three point uh, I'm not going to hold you to it. So it's fifteen twenty modern, generally what you're doing. No, no, no. Okay. Um, but here's the thing. The Elder Scrolls system, if it's done correctly, now I have not played the beta, nor did I play the alpha, and but Brandon Jenkins has, and I trust his judgment, and he said it's the best role player that he's ever played. Huh. Now, he meant that in a virtual environment. So, if you like pen and paper RPGs, if the Elder Scrolls lives up to what it's supposed to do, and you don't like it, never roll a die ever again. Okay, okay, that's a bold claim. Now, now, that's a I, very now bold claim, given so. I did not play the alpha, I have not played the beta, I've, not, I've had no experience with this. Okay, I'm but just gonna, based on the games, a quick rundown. If they do it with... The only games, Elder Scrolls games ever played was Oblivion and a little bit of Skyrim. It's the only two games ever played. Okay, Oblivion is the worst of all of them. Oh, come on. That was a big deal when that fucking game came Skyrim. out. Skyrim. I played 10 minutes was a, of Skyrim. It was a big deal like because it. of the graphics. I played 10 That's, minutes of it. The no, leveling system. I turned it off and sold the, it for Let me tell you bucks. what's completely there you go. broken about <clears throat> Oblivion. Right. Arrows? If, if I walk into a city and I power level my skills, mm. which any normal human being would do because you naturally, like, you just pick up the shit to do it with, you level the entire world as you level your skills. And let me tell you what that does. Let's say I go in and I'm like, I've got a shit ton of alchemy reagents, so I'm, or regents, so I'm <laughs> so, just... Wait, 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 so basically just for the layman's, are you saying that everyone levels up when you do, right? That's the what, entire world levels that's up. What killed, that's, that's what killed world. a lot of Final Fantasy games. But here's, here's the thing. It's not level up as you do. Because do, it's not character yeah. level that matters in Oblivion. It's, it's, it's just skill <laughs> levels it's overall. Good. So let's say that you just, and you're going to, as you're going through the game, you're going to pick up a bunch of regents just naturally. They're there. You don't got to farm them. They're just there. So as you level these up. No, you, <laughs> for the guys, obviously this is audio. You can't see. Paul has got one foot on a chair 
He's got uh, his palm resting on the, the the upper part of his leg, his elbow on his the thigh, man. Thigh, and he's just looking defiant as a motherfucker right That's now. Because I am. He's saying, "Fuck you guys." <laughs> here, here's the thing: as you go in and you like level your blacksmithing and alchemy and stuff like that, things that are non-combat related. The entire world levels up. So the the boar that you just fought outside the city. And you handle because you're like level two. When you go in and level your alchemy and your blacksmithing and stuff like that, now you go back out and the exact same board completely destroys okay. you. Okay. Does Does Elder Scrolls Online do that then? No, the Elder Scrolls Online does not do that. Nor did Skyrim do that. Skyrim was based on character level, not on and skill level. Shouts. The Shout. shouts are awesome, dude. Shout. The, uh, Let it all out. These Who's are the things up? I can do without. <laughs> Come on, I'm talking to you. Come, Come on. on. <clears throat> but all four of us here are the only guys that are keeping the fighting genre alive a little bit around We're here, right? We're all about some Tekken, man. I really uh, like Tekken. I, I, I love that. That's I, one of my I'll favorite give, games. I will of all give time. Rob Davis 100% yeah, all credit, yeah, all time credit time for that. Yeah. I, I appreciate it. Because up until then, the only thing I played was Street Fighter uh, Anniversary Collection. That's the only thing I played. Well, me, that was a good one. Street Fighter's Street good. Fighter to, I went, well, here's why. I went from right. 64 Smash Brothers to yeah. Melee to Brawl to Street Fighter 2. Yeah. To Street Fighter Third Strike to Tekken. That's my fighting well, game evolution. Well, so I like I came a long yeah. way real quick. You were watching us playing Tekken Tag forever. Yeah, mom, a long time. mine was Mortal Kombat one and two back in the nineties. Well, yeah, then, yeah, then Mortal Street Kombat Fighter two. Before all that shit. Mm-hmm. Then Street Fighter two. Then Bushido Blade. Then Tekken. Yeah, my my that, that was kind of my evolution. I'm just gonna say, is, I'm picking up Dragon off. Which the, and, and this is because oh, he's Haas in Tekken Tag, dude. He's the, Haas. This is because of his fighting style. I really, really I like, like his, his stance. Style. He's a grappler with strikes. Yeah, yes, yes, that's, yeah, that's cool. exactly what he is. He's kind of like a half-ass king. king. He's a yeah, half-ass king. I'm a grappler that has some strikes. Sure. And that's why I like Dragon because he's closest to me. Uh, well, for someone who doesn't know who the fuck Dragonoff is, what would be a good description of him, Rob? Uh, he's a Russian military MMA fighter that knows how to. But his demeanor, he's kind of has a slouch demeanor about him uh, when his. He's well, defensive. Yeah, he's a defen- Like uh, he seems shorter than the other characters, right. uh, despite the fact Almost that he's like taller than most of them. Right. Um, but he slouches over. But like, uh, he has a slight sadistic quality. Uh, but it's done really well. It's like as opposed to a character like Brian, who just openly laughs and like just hurts somebody. Um, his is more subtle. Like he completely like just he'll break somebody's arm and not change his facial expression. It's just another day at the office to him. Right. That's right. He's cold. He's military. Yeah. Well, just yeah. just to just to lame. Like like He's Russian special forces. Oh, there you go. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, just mm-hmm. just for just for people who have no fucking clue, uh, Tekken but, is by far the best three D fighting game experience you're ever gonna have right yeah, now. Yeah. It's it's probably the deepest. I, well, let me let me put it this way: from someone that's a two D mark. <laughs> I, I'm a 2D fighter guy. And sure. Paul's Period. really good at fighting right. Gil's ass all night. But here's, <laughs> all night. here's yeah. the bit. Uh, I hated 3D fighters. Hated them. They're ter- most of them were bad. Yeah, most of them were, I, I when I picked that. up Tag and Tag Tournament 2, when the first night I picked it up, I still remember it. And... I immediately fell in love with it. Well, he was watching me and Casey fucking just slave it was away. Like, it was like five months of him just watching. I kept telling Paul, I was like, this is, this is where it's at. But I hated 3D fighters. I played a, a bunch of them. Y'all, they're, they're bad. But, 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 let me get this cleared out. TG, uh, this clear the air here. All right. yeah. To appreciate a 3D fighter, you have to be 2D really trained. versed in 2D yes. fighting games. Hmm. This is because um, a lot of crouch crouch dash moves you get to appreciate with a lot of diagonal uh, and switching back and forth moves. A lot of grapples come from that. I know it's two different worlds, but it's like if you love Street Fighter and if you play King of Fighters or like Capcom versus SNK, okay, SNK right. 2 or something you, like you'll that. You'll have a chance. Right. Yeah. You, uh, you understand the let's say, you, let's say you play like Virtua Fighter and then you just switch into Tekken, like you, you wouldn't have a chance. I no. heard that That's the difference alive. between 2D Fighters and 3D Fighters. Yeah. I think the combination was Brawl and Third Strike. All right. Those were the two games that allowed me to move into Tekken. Right. Okay. Third Strike for the 2D 
A brawl because it's two and a half D. Okay. And I could dodge and side, And the characters are odd in, yeah, in comparison it's to each other. and they would have weird moves. Well, and for me, man, like, King of Fighter characters, to me, were way more interesting than Street Fighter characters. It's because... Yeah, like... Uh, they they have personality. personality. The only reason I don't like them more is because I suck as them. Mm. It's personality. This is I'm still learning King of well, Fighters. Well, so. King of Fighters, so, like, it's, it's a 2D game you have to work at. Like, it, it's seriously not a game you can learn in an afternoon, like, say, Street Fighter. Right. So I think that's probably what turns a lot of people off to Tekken in, in a way, because it, I try to explain this to, like, when You, can, you don't just play playing. Tekken, you, you have to study it to be You like, really do. And that's why I picked up uh, Forest Law. Yeah, and that's why I picked up Martial Law, because, Because you know. it was so easy. He is, the, the laws are the bridge between, especially between Street Fighter okay. and... The 3D world, right? Because it's more strike attack. oriented. You're strike oh, oriented. Fighter. A yeah. strike and 2D, fight, but at yeah. the same time, he has the side steps and the grabs and yeah. The but that comes stage. later. You but you saw still, that. Yeah. and that's why I picked up Forest. But then it turned out that I really enjoy playing as Forest. Sure. And now I'm going to move into Dragon Off, and what that's going to do for me is put me a little bit more into the Tekken mindset. mindset. Yeah, yeah. And then after that, I'll probably move on to. Jin or Kazuya. Yeah. I want to say that you should learn. Paul, everyone needs but... to learn a Mishima. Yeah. Everyone needs to learn one, just because, like the storyline's built around them, and the system is based around them. Their yes. fighting style. Yes. Yeah. I always thought that too. Yeah. I like Hachi a lot. I've, I've, I'm learning Jin. Hachi's beast. Kizama. Right Dude, now. I okay. When I say I'll, I, I went, I yeah, learned Kazuya. It wasn't like I just went through his command list. When you learn a character, that's least. Six hours. No, when you, you get into but, when you but say, I will never I play that character, character just because I'm not. You have to be character. able to instinctive, like just you have to have reflexes. No, yeah, yes. there's a difference between yeah, I play as Forest and I know Forest. Exactly, exactly. That's a good quote. Actually, yes, I and call it. I am somewhere between the two right now. It's like I, I like I, I know Forest seventy percent. Well, for sure. just in case and the. the the most important Explain. portions are the ones that I don't know. Okay, just in case someone doesn't have any idea what the fuck we're talking about, Forest Law, Martial Law. Martial Law and Forest Law is the uh, resident Bruce Lee, uh, Jeet Kune Do type of martial arts character sure. in this 3D fighter. Uh, it, it, it seems to and be... Mar Martial is actually the better character. I don't know. Yeah. I'm starting to like Forrest's nuances, well, though. Forrest is easier to flow with. Martial... I like his fake outs a lot. Like if I can learn worthless, don't ever use. Yeah, you know what's better than the fake out? Actually hitting. Yeah. I know, but I, I noticed this that when I watched the it, only fake out that he has that's really useful, and I play his force a lot. Right. It's the only fake out that he has that's useful. Is you go into a punch or a kick, you can open from either one. Right. And whether it's left or right doesn't matter. But then you go into a fake out parry. Right. Okay. That's the only well, one that makes a. Fun. The reason why I like fake and the outs. only reason. Is because in the other ones, you know how he'll fake out and he automatically punches or right. kicks or whatever after. In the fake out parry, you get what is it, Rob? A uh, a free whatever you want. Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. they're minus you like twenty something parry, frames. You get what? a free whatever you want. Really? Yeah. Well, see, I know Marshall has a couple. The reason why I studied these fake out characters and mix them ups and poke characters, yeah. and the reason why I think they're very interesting, is when I was playing online, I noticed that my success rate with the Oshimitsu was fairly decent. Yeah. But I Yoshi, liked it. Yoshi's Hoss, you learn to use him. Yeah, yeah. The, that's a character you have that to That made him know. difficult to learn on purpose. Yes, yeah. and that's what... He was the reason why I love this game. Because when I went back and studied other characters, it's like, they have done such a good job developing unique nuances with these characters. Sure. Like, although there is palette swaps with Miharu, uh, Miharu and... Um, mm -hmm. You know, and... Zayu. And, Zayu and uh, Kuma and Panda sure. and all that stuff. But... But it's just, there's something about this game that just keeps drawing. It's almost as if I'm trying, it's a lazy well, here's person. The, here's the thing. I'm just going to butt in, I'm going to butt in here real Go quick. Ahead, um, sorry, this is a stiff odd cast of April 1st, 2014. We're going to take a small break and make sure that we are doing it right. <laughs> 